Hey everybody, as mentioned, my name is Brian and thanks again for joining today's webinar. Uh, today, we're going to cover some of the steps it takes to list your products from Sellbrite out to marketplaces like eBay, Amazon, and we'll even cover an online store built through the e-commerce platform Shopify. Now, remember, as we go along, submit any questions you have um, through the, uh, the questions uh, area of Livestorm and uh, let's go ahead and, and get started here. So as usual, you'll first land in the dashboard of your Celebrate account when logging into your account. Um, to start creating listings though, you'll actually need to navigate to the Selling Manager located under Inventory. The Selling Manager is the starting place when it comes to listing your products. Um, from the Selling Manager, you can identify where your products may or may not already be listed and then take action. And this is actually where the listing process begins. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and just start diving in. So step one, find the products you want to list. Now the best way to find the products that you want to list is by filtering and searching products in your selling manager for any given criteria that you have. For, for this exercise, I'm going to look for some of my products that are not listed on my eBay channel and I'm going to achieve this by using the is not listed uh, on filter, the is not listed on filter <laughs> to the left of the page. Uh, and from here, I'm just going to select my eBay channel from the drop down and then apply my filter. And these are my results. So from this filter, I now have a list of products that I can list onto my eBay channel. And I'm just going to select some products that I, I want to list from this uh, from these search results. And back up at the top of the page, I'm going to tell Sellbrite where I want to list these products. So let's just choose one product to list for now. And let's actually list this product to eBay. Now, right after doing this, you'll see that within a matter of seconds, Celebrate has actually created what we call a draft listing from the product that I just selected from my selling manager. Now, a draft listing in Celebrate is exactly what it sounds like. It's the draft of the listing that I've just created, right? So now that I have a draft listing, I need to enrich my draft listing with channel-specific information. And that's where we move on to step two, which is enrich your draft listings. Enriching your listings is where the for forks in the road actually occur. Um, finding the products to list will always be repeated and reused when listing onto any channel, but because you can list your products onto different channels, channels requiring varying sets of information, the step to enrich your listings is gonna vary based on the channel you're listing to. So now let's quickly look at how the enrichment of listings differs between eBay, Amazon, and Shopify. So now if I went back to the selling manager and if we were gonna list that same product that I just used to list to eBay to Amazon, we would actually enter what we call a listings builder. The listings builder is used whenever you list to channels like Amazon and is used to enrich your draft listings as you are creating them. So you'll see as I go through this, through this listings builder that Celebrate is already asking me for Amazon specific information as I continue, I'm going to reach a step where I can actually apply a group of previously saved information to enrich this listing. This grouped information is known as a preset. A preset stores your group of regularly used information for a specific channel, like handling time or the ability to start a sale for Amazon. Now I store these options in a preset so I don't have to re-enter this information every single time I create a listing to Amazon. Instead, I can save and store this information in a preset and then apply that preset to my new listings that I create onto Amazon later. Now in the same manner, presets are actually also used for channels like Shopify, but there is no listings builder when listing to Shopify. So again, if I went back to the selling manager, same product that we've been using, I'm gonna create a listing to Shopify and you'll see that within a matter of seconds, Shopify, a Shopify draft listing is actually created for me automatically, right? Now that I have the draft listing, I'm going to need to enrich this listing with channel specific information. And I'm gonna do that using a Shopify preset. So again, we're using a preset here to enrich the draft listing with my channel specific information. In this case, Shopify information. So really quick, the step for enriching your listings is going to vary from channel to channel. For channels like Amazon and Etsy, you're going to go through a listings builder to enrich your listings as you're creating them. 
for channels like Shopify or Big Commerce, you're simply going to select products from the selling manager and draft listings will automatically be created for you where you then enrich your listings with presets, right? This step is all about enriching your listings. So now let's try and bring this back full circle and enrich the original draft eBay listing that we started with. Just like we've seen for Amazon and Shopify, we know that we need to enrich this draft listing with eBay specific information. For channels like eBay and Walmart, we use templates to enrich these listings. Templates are virtually identical to presets, but they actually allow you to save and store your listing information in a much more personalized way. Let me kind of explain really quick. Templates for eBay would include category, title and description, pricing, shipping, and payments and returns. And each template is storing its own specific set of information. So rather than having everything grouped together, I can actually segment and store my category information separately from my shipping information. And if I ever need to make shipping option changes to listings, I can just use a shipping template. Once I have templates created, all I need to do is apply them to this draft listing selectively or apply a group of them bundled together in what we call a recipe. So templates actually have a secondary function, which is to group them together into what we call a recipe, where a recipe is actually more, um, more identical to what we saw for Shopify and Amazon presets, which is grouped together um, information right for our channel. So whether I'm using templates to enrich my listings with specific information or a recipe for enriching my listing with virtually all information, um, all I'm doing right is just simply enriching the listing. Now, before we move on to the final step of the listing process, let's do one last quick recap. Step one, find the products you wanna list. Again, you'll do this from the selling manager where you can easily identify where your products are selling. Step two was to enrich your draft listings. This is where things get slightly different depending on which channel you're listing to, but in any case, remember, all you're doing is enriching your listings. And now for the final and third step of the listing process, step three, publish. So now that I've found the product that I've wanted to list, I've enriched the draft listing I created with my templates. And now all that's left for me to do is to publish the listing and make it live. So similar to step one in finding products to list, step three in publishing your listings is going to essentially be identical when you're listing to any channel. All you're doing is clicking publish for your selected listings so they can go live. And once your listings are published on a given channel, you can always make edits to your listings or view them on the given channel right from Cellbrite. And that's pretty much it for this portion of the webinar, actually. Um, we will, of course, have some more detailed webinars coming up that will dive into full detail uh, when listing to a specific channel type, uh, you know, listing to eBay specifically or uh, Shopify, and we'll go into full detail of the templates and all the information that we should know. <laughs> um, but until then, if you'd like to dive into some of the topics that we discussed today, be sure to visit our Help Center materials on creating listings. Um, and also look out for those webinars coming up. Now, all, with all of that being said, let's actually go ahead and take some of your questions and I'll kick things back to our moderator.